Hello everyone. Welcome to session 31 of Selenium training. Probably this may be the last session in Java. Fine. Uh, I will continue the collections framework concept. Yesterday, in yesterday's session, I started collections framework. So what is a collection, guys? What is a collection? Anyone? A group of objects. Yes. Collection is a group of objects, right? So as part of collections framework, so I explained like this. Collections. We have something like uh, some interfaces were there. Collection interface, map interface, iterator interface, all these are interfaces. Under these interfaces, collection interface, we have list, list interface, and set interface. Under list interface, we have array list, which I covered yesterday. This particular thing I covered yesterday, guys, if you remember, right? I will explain the difference between arrays and array list. Now, other than that, we have hash set. Here we have hash map. Hash map something. And we have this these things, guys. Okay. Here, array list, hash set, hash map are the classes. And remaining all these things like collection, map, iterator, list, set, all these are interfaces. Fine. So yesterday I explained array list. Now let's move to the next class that is hash set. Okay, hash set. Today let me explain hash set. Unlike array list, hash set won't have index values, guys. And hence we cannot use for loop with hash set. I'll explain that. And uh, array list stores the values in a random order. Okay, so what what is the difference between array list and hash set? You have to if you under uh, if you understand the difference between this array list and hash set, then you will understand hash set properly. First of all, in array list we have indexes, right? If you remember, we have indexes. Uh, there are some index index concept was there like arrays and arrays. Arrays also have some index, right? Array also has some index. So list dot, we said list dot get of zero. This is how we access the array list. First element in the array list having the index zero. The first element having the index zero. List dot get of one. This is a syntax for array list. Coming to the arrays, what is the syntax is? Some a dot, sorry, a of o. A, if a is a variable referring that array, so a of one like this. In order to access. What is the difference between arrays and array list? Arrays are fixed in size, whereas array list is resizable, right? Growable in size, resizable. This is the difference. But both of them, arrays and array list, have index. But coming to hash set, hash set don't have no index. Okay. The difference is no index. Hash set don't have no index. It don't have any index. Fine. So this is the difference case, array list and hash set. Another difference is, since we have index, elements will, the first element, list dot, if I say list dot, uh, list dot five, this will, this will store as at index zero, right? First element will be stored at index zero. If I again say list dot add of some nine, the second element will store at index one. So some proper order is there for storing the values, right? At index zero, the first element is stored at index one. The second element is stored. But coming to the hash set, that elements will be stored. Elements will be added in random order. Random order. This is the difference, guys. Here index is there. Here no index is there. Here elements will be saved. The first element will be stored at the index first position. Second element will be stored at the second position. Here first element, first element may be stored somewhere, and second element may be stored somewhere. Okay. So randomly they will be stored in the memory, guys. Okay, there is no order. Randomly it will save in the memory. Fine. Now, 
so you got the differences right what is the difference now tell me guys what is the difference between uh, array list and uh, this asset guys what is the difference between array list and asset anyone two differences i explained an array list uh, tell me about uh, that uh, asset how it is different from array list in the array list uh, uh, elements are placed in a specified order but whereas in the hash map uh, it is it doesn't have a specified order random saving right randomly it will be saved so other difference the first difference i explained no index there is no index concept okay that's how they are different yes fine let's go to the practical program which actually demonstrate these two things how the asset don't have any index and how the values will be stored in random order when you use asset that will be explained as part of this program so this is an example guys opening let's wait for the eclipse id to open okay this is a program guys which i am going to demonstrate you cannot use for loop guys one more difference is in with array list you can use for loop okay there is an index concept so because index concept is there since index concept is there you can use for loop with array list okay but here as said no index no index so you can only use for each loop since because reason is no index since the hash set don't have any indexing concept we have to use for each for, for each loop with hash set but here in array list only index is index values are there so you can use both for loop and for each loop also can be used right here both loops can be used whereas in hash set you can only use for each loop you cannot use for loop no for loop okay no for loop since index concept is not there you cannot use for loop guys only for each loop can be used so in this example i am going to demonstrate so let me delete this right click delete this project create a new project right click new project java project uh, what is that uh, asset project create a asset project right click on src say new say class say demo class i created a demo class inside the demo class let me add public static void main string of max in this main method in this main method i am going to demonstrate the hash set now okay so this is a program guys here you can see so how to create it also looks like the same format right uh, array list also was having the same format so here hash set also has a same format hash set hash set is a predefined class in java so let's go to java 8 api java 8 api first link control f hash set okay as set so as set is a predefined class in java it also has to be used with uh, this uh, less than symbol and greater than symbol and the wrapper class that based on the type of values you want to store that particular data types wrapper class should be used in this less than and greater than symbol same syntax so let's create an object as set h set is equal to new hash set provide some like this okay so you can import this hash set over the mouse you have to import this hash set from a different package that is java.util package hash set will get imported from the util package now i i didn't uh, provide the syntax that's why you are getting the warnings here yellow color warnings you are getting right the reason here is you have to add the wrapper class here also like this less than and greater than symbol in between that you have to provide what type of values you want to store let's say i want to store integer values or let's say i want to store string values in this example let me store string values fine here now let me add the values how to add the values in uh, array list guys what is the method you used in ar array list for adding the values anyone dot add this yes. dot add the same thing will be used here also for hash set also same method okay h set dot 
add same thing okay same method is there and uh, since this is a string you can add strings string values guys okay my we give a space also s set dot add some name is arun fine so this let's say <clears throat> this is my name <clears throat> that's fine now now i want to print them how to print can i use for loop with a hash set can i use for, for loop we cannot use for loop right with hash set why what is the reason there is no indexing concept here so for i cannot use for loop but i can use for each loop so what is the type of the values i am storing in this particular hash set string right copy this string put it here say temp colon the variable of this uh, hash set paste it here done this is the syntax right for hash loop system dot dot print ln let me not say print ln instead i will say print okay print this particular temp plus no need to say plus okay this will be fine so let's see what will happen do you think my name is arun will be printed let's see what will what is the output the obligation it's running guys let's wait for it to complete what happened guys did it print my name is arun my arun is name okay so why is printing like this why it's printing like this speak out guys anyone random random yes yes we are thinking that this particular thing is storing in the first position this is storing in the second position third position fourth but it's not like that guys hash set will store the values in random random order so while writing the program it looks like uh, things will be stored in the proper order but while printing you see because because they are stored in a random order my arun is name got printed instead of my name is arun okay so if i go with the array list right this would have printed like in a proper way my name is arun would have been printed but in hash set it will happen like this okay so this is how there is no indexing concept and also the value stored will be printed in a random order will be saved in the memory in the random order okay so that's the difference between uh, array list and hash set almost syntax is same you can see hash set is the only difference here and here add method is also same but just the indexing concept is not there and values will be stored in the random order that's the only difference guys okay now guys go up what is the parent parent uh, interface of this hash set class set set interface what is the what is the grandparent of this hash set collection collection so we can use both of them right since uh, yesterday we used list and collection interface with array list similarly with hash set we can use set and collection let's replace this hash set with uh, what is called uh, that uh, set right set okay set is a predefined interface import this uh, set interface from java.util package save it it will work out guys the same output you will get okay it will work out because set is a parent interface similarly collection collection is also grandparent interface of this hash set so even the same output this will also make no difference here object is created for which class and uh, uh, assigned to which uh, variable of the uh, which variable guys anyone in this particular statement we are creating an object for which class which which hash set yes set because new hash set is the object created and that object we are assigning to the variable of the interface collection okay you have yeah. to remember that the application you see same output very basic things guys fine that's about the hash set guys nothing more than that okay just need to uh, understand the differences between the array list and hash set only that thing okay now let's go to the why we have to why i am explaining array list hash set and all those stuff guys so in selenium right in some places in some methods in selenium right they will return the hash set they will not return array list okay some in some uh, there are some commands in selenium which will return the hash set okay 
so during the selenium context i will explain okay so that's the reason we should be knowing about hash set and also in frameworks right few people will be writing array list hash set all those stuff okay it's better to know them and at same time some methods in uh, selenium will return the hash sets okay so I, this is not the correct time to explain that but uh, just uh, keep that in mind so why i'm explaining all this stuff okay i'm explain i'm clearly choosing this java concept so that you will understand the selenium things in the future okay so this will this we are going to use in future guys with selenium commands just remember that fine iterator interface and iterator method next one is iterator interface and iterator method maybe uh okay iterator interface and iterator method fine so here what is an iterator guys it's an uh, interface or class this iterator interface interface yes correct iterator is an interface so there are two things guys with the same name there are two things okay so when you call this one this is nothing but iterator interface this one is iterator method same name there are two things on the one side we have iterator interface on the other side we have iterator method do you think iterator method belongs to iterator interface guess guys just give a guess speak out guys do you think iterator method belongs to iterator interface anyone just give a guess no one no one want to give a guess at least speak out guys speak out let's make this interactive so that you will understand more can you ask again arun so are these two related or not i mean uh, does this iterator method belongs to this iterator interface or not is the question i i am asking for a guess kind of thing Yes or, no? yes or yes or no? yes so how many are saying no so some person said yes so but it's not correct guys okay though the names look same the name look iterator and here also method name is also iterator this particular method doesn't belongs to this iterator interface okay the answer is no guys okay the answer is no let me show you go to java at api so control f iterator interface let's search for iterator interface okay this is an interface so iterator is an interface go to the methods you see do you, do you see any iterator method here for each remaining is there has next is there next method is there remove method is there but is there any iterator method no right so though the names look same there is this iterator method doesn't belongs to iterator interface so in that case we, to which interface this particular method belongs to is a question right control f go to collection go to collection interface one more thing here guys uh, you see whatever that is kind of uh, bend it to the right side italic right that is an interface whichever don't don't have italic thing normal text is a class Okay, so the Java library is uh, is uh, kind of uh, displaying like that. If you see see some text here, which is kind of bended to the right side, that is italic mode. That is nothing but an interface, guys. Okay. Okay. Collection interface. Scroll down. The methods. Let's find out whether there is an iterator. You see, iterator method belongs to which interface? Collection interface. Iterator method belongs to collection interface. okay iterator method belongs to which interface collection interface why understand this properly guys some people will ask you in the interviews what is the difference between what difference between iterator and iterator method okay iterator iterator and iterator method so your answer should be 
iterator is an interface okay iterator method belongs to collection interface okay this should be your answer guys and one more thing is also there guys okay one more thing is also there though this particular so this particular iterator method iterator method belongs to collection interface what is the return type of this iterator method what is the return type the return type here is iterator interface okay you got my point how they are connected i will show you now again so let's start with iterator method sir collection collection interface collection is an interface under collection interface we have which method iterator method and this iterator method returns returns return type of this iterator method is whenever a particular person will call this method right the return type of that method is you know about return type right in public static void main in public static void main what is the return type void void yeah void is the return type similarly similarly for this iterator method what is the return type interface okay iterator interface is the return type that is the thing we have to understand this combination guys iterator method is a uh, this uh, method of predefined method in the collection interface but the return type of this iterator method is iterator interface you have to understand that okay if you understand this what i am going to explain right you will understand so if someone ask you uh, the difference between iterator and iterator method you have to say like this okay iterator method belongs to collection interface and the return type of the iterator method is iterator interface so it will be okay okay this is the difference you have to say fine let's go the programs so now i was saying that iterator for uh, return type of this iterator method is iterator interface but what are the methods predefined methods of this iterator interface so it has two methods okay iterator method has considerably two methods there are four methods but uh, whatever we are going to use is only two so the the methods which we generally use with this, of this iterator interface are nothing but as next and one more thing was next times as next and uh, what is that next yes next these are the two methods we have to use it these two predefined methods belong to iterator interface this is a uh, connection collection interface has a predefined method called iterator iterator method the return type of this iterator method is iterator interface the predefined methods of the iterator interface are has next and next okay you have to remember this thing guys collection iterator method iterator interface and has next and next methods okay they are connected like this so we are going to use each and everything here okay we are going to use everything from this in the programs fine so now you understood the things right so now, now let me i will show you that also like uh, here control f uh, iterator interface it has methods like this these are four methods in that i explained we are going to use has next and next okay these are the predefined methods of the iterator interface i never use these two things okay i, I didn't uh, found these things uh, helpful during writing the program so only these two things i use so far Okay, just uh, focus on this only for now. Okay, as next and next, as next and next. Next is kind of small guys. Okay, not capital. It's small. You can remove this. Next. Okay, as next and next are the predefined methods of the iterator interface. Fine. Now let's let me demonstrate iterator and iterator method with array list. Okay. So so far we have seen array list and hash set, right? Two things, right? So I'm going to apply that. These two things I covered so far. Okay. 
what are they i covered array list already and i also covered hash set already so this iterator and iterator method i am going to use i am going to use this iterator and iterator iterator interface and iterator method with array list at same time i am going to demonstrate in the next program how to use iterator interface and iterator method with hash set also okay both of these things you can use you can apply this iterator iterator method with the help of array, array list with array list and also at same time iterator interface and iterator method can be applied with the hash set okay you have to understand this program guys fine so let me close this project delete okay right click new java project iterator project right click src new class array list iterator demo create a main method inside this class public static void main string of ox in this we need to create an array list right let's create an array list yes how to create an array list array list list a list something okay array list is called new array list array list I'll create an object like this. After that, uh, I have to import this, right? Import this array list from the Java.util package. And also then, greater than less than symbol. Yes, greater than less than. Yes. Okay. In this, let's store some integers only. Okay. Let's not complex it. Let's store the basic integer values only. Integer wrapper class I wrote. Now here, I need to add the elements to the list, right? How to add? A list a dot dot add yes a list dot add so let me add something like five a list dot add some nine a list dot add three a list uh, dot add some six I just added four values okay in order to print in order to access these values I used to write some for each loop or for loop right. So let me write some for each loop for integer temp colon a list for each loop guys okay system dot out dot print ln and it write temp done when I run this program right click run as Java application the output will be printed but guys I don't want to use this for loop instead I want to use iterator interface and iterator method okay i want to use only this thing to print like this so what i have to do first one iterator is a predefined method of which interface collection collection okay so here understand this concept now so there is something known as collections iterator is a predefined method of collection interface collection interface what is the child of this uh, collection? List. list. What is the child of this list interface? Array list class. So can I use the iterator predefined method of collection with array list object? Yes. Yeah, why? Because this is a subclass, right? Subclass can inherit the parent class methods. Understood, guys? You can use uh, uh, what is that called uh, uh, iterator method of the parent grandparent collection interface with the array list object because array list is a child class of this uh, collection interface grandchild class of this collection interface okay you can inherit it inheritance concept right so you don't have to have a separate uh, thing so iterate method can be used with this object reference of this array list so let's let me use this array uh, iterator with this object reference how to use the object reference? Let's go to iterator method in the collection interface. Once control S. Collection interface. So where is that uh, iterator method? This is iterator method. So it's a normal iterator method, guys. In, in order to access any of this matter of the collection interface, what we have to do? We have to create an object, right? 
you can either create an update for the collection interface you cannot create an object for the collection interface in that case how can you access this uh, so we cannot create objects for the interfaces right then how to create uh, how to access these methods are this worthless no right we have to use we have to create the objects for the child class of this collection interface and then access these methods so that's the reason we have to create an object for the array list which is the child class of the collection interface and then access the methods so let me access this is the object reference so with the help of the object reference object dot iterator simple okay object dot iterator so this is how you have to access the iterator predefined method of the collection interface with the object reference of the child class because you cannot create objects for the interfaces fine now over the mouse on this iterator method what's coming guys can anyone say what is the return type of this iterator method by using by seeing this statement in this statement what is what is mentioned as the return type iterator yes iterator right iterator is the return type so for this particular method what is the return type iterator is the return type they are clearly showing eclipse side is clearly showing that so simply do one thing iterator interface iterator itr is equal to i am just short form so this is a variable guys okay variable interface iterator is an interface so from where you have to import this iterator interface from java.util package okay there are different uh, suggestions guys import iterator from some html document it import iterator from java.util which package you are going to choose this package or this package java.util java yeah you have to remember this guys uh, when when it's only suggesting you a single import statement it's fine but uh, when it is suggesting two right you should be in a good position to recognize that package so just remember java.util package fine so i said few things right uh, it I, uh, iterator has some predefined methods how to access them with the help of this i can access with the help of this itr i can access right predefined what are the predefined methods of this iterator interface has next i next right i am going to use that so while while itr dot has next that means this iterator th this array list will be converted to the iterator okay so all this elements will be part of this iterator now so itr dot has next does does this iterator has next elements yes four elements are there now so yes since it has four elements it will return true so it will go in, inside this while loop the here i will print system dot out dot print ln itr dot next okay if it is has next it will it will say next so the control will come to this and it will retrieve the file file will be printed in the output after that again itr dot has next are there any re remaining elements Three elements are still there. Again, true. As next, it will print the next element in the remaining list. That is ninth element. Nine, nine will be printed. After that, itr dot has next. So two more elements are there. Two, so true. Now itr dot next. The remaining elements, first element, that is three, will be printed. Again, itr dot has next. One more element is there. So true. System dot out dot print and itr dot next six will be printed in the output. After that, itr dot has next. All the elements are done. So no other elements. So it will come out of the while loop. Run this program. Right click run as Java application. You see, you will get the output. Okay, guys. This is how you have to use iterator and iterator method with the array list. Remember this, guys. Remember. Okay, we need this sometimes. Fine. Understood, guys. Any doubts here? How to use iterator and iterator uh, uh, methods with array list? Clear. Don't we need that integer in uh, greater than less than less than symbol in iterator? Yes. We need that or not needed? Uh, which one? Uh, yeah, it, it, it will work out, but uh, it's a just kind of warning. It's not giving error, but it's better to have that. Okay, you can have this. Okay. Yeah. You can specify. Warning message will go. That's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not an error, but a warning message. Okay. Okay, someone is asking me to explain seventeenth uh, line. Yeah, this one, say not. Yes, I am saying that array list dot iterator will convert this list into iterator. Okay. So <clears throat> I am just explaining for Srinath guys. Uh, just wait. So <clears throat> we are assigning that 
to the variable of the iterator interface because iterator method return type is iterator don't don't think much guys okay don't think much just understand how to use it don't go to too depth fine so then when you use you have to focus here guys itr dot has next and next you have to focus after converting that to an iterator using the variable of this iterator interface you have to use as next and next that's why we are converting this list into the iterator okay this statement is nothing but a conversion guys from the array list to the iterator okay we are converted to the array list to the iterator and with the iterator right you have to use as next and next to throw all these methods elements okay that's it no difference so how i am writing this statement you have to understand when i say this array list array list we can use a predefined method iterator array list dot iterator the return type of this method is iterator interface okay using the variable of this iterator interface i can access this methods like has next and next and scroll through this files is it clear sir enough now uh, yes sir thanks sir okay fine you don't have to dig deep but uh, just understand how to use this statement okay that will be fine the purpose is to use this has next and next methods of the iterator okay that's why we are using it we are converting this array list to iterator so that we can use has next and next predefined methods of the iterator okay that's the only purpose fine now let's uh, let me explain the same program uh, same iterator and iterator method with has set okay this time with has set so let me create another uh, class right click new class has set iterator demo finish public static void main string of box okay so here create a hash asset hash set it set is equal to new hash set then what guys import this hash set from the java dot util package after that put less than greater than symbol and in this write something let's say some string anything you can give i am giving string fine so uh, now let's set dot add my set dot add name is uh, okay i gave like this and uh, how to how to print this i was using for each loop right earlier i used to use for each for each loop so here the type of values are string type so temp and uh, the variable name is uh, has set copy here fine temp that's it run this program so my error is name got printed here wrong order okay so the same thing i want to replace with has it uh, i mean iterator okay i want to use iterator and iterator interface and iterator method in this program so how to do that can i use iterator predefined method with uh, has set object reference just check out here has set is a grandchild of the collection interface only both array list and has set belongs to the same collection interface okay has set is a child grandchild of this collection interface your set is a parent but uh, set is the parent of the uh, child of this collection so the predefined method of the collection is iterator method so i can use with the grandchild because of the inheritance concept i can even not able to create any object for the collection interface or set interface right only i can create object for the asset class so using the object for this asset class you can access the methods of this collection interface so let's do that asset dot iterator method okay so this is a predefined method of the collection interface i am trying to access this with the child class object reference of this uh, collection interface that is has set what is the return type of this iterator method over the mouse you see iterator is a uh, return type 
iterator itr is equal to okay import this iterator method iterator interface from the java.util package after importing it will give the warning message if you want to overcome that warning message you have to write this copy paste this one here okay it will be overcome now now tell me guys how to write the logic while 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 itr dot has next has next has loop open okay system dot out dot print ln itr dot next that's correct guys that's correct we are able to do that okay fine that's it simple so run this program right click uh, run as uh, the application my arun is name same output okay randomly it is saving and randomly it is printing same thing as uh, we just applied with the asset so you can use iterator method and iterator interface with the asset and array list both so that's about the iterator interface and iterator method guys uh, just uh, practice this program on your own so things will be good now let's move to the next one that is hash map hash map so instead of storing the objects as a group of objects hash map stores the objects in the form of key value pairs okay Till now, how many values you are storing with this add value? How many values, guys? Only one value, right? But if I say I want to store like this, will that be possible? Is this possible, guys? Two values I want to store. No. No, right? Because I am getting already getting error. We cannot do that. So I want to store in the values in the form of key and values. I will store the objects only. But thing is that I want to store the objects in the form of key and value pairs. For a key, there will be value. For example, uh, I want to represent something like this: one not one. In in school days, we used to have some roll numbers, right? In the class, for example, these are roll numbers: one not one, or zero zero one. Let's say, okay, some roll number one. Arun, like this, and uh, roll number two. In the class, some other name. Okay, some other name. Prashant, some random names I'm giving. Roll number three. Some Kishore. Roll number four. Hey, like this. Some here. What is the key and what is the value, guys? Zero zero one is the key and Arun is a value. Zero zero two is a key, and Prashant is a value. Zero zero three is a key, and Kishore is a value. Zero zero four is a key, and Hem is a value. Like this, guys. I want to store array list or hash set will not support this thing. Okay. If I have to store the objects in the form of like this, okay, like two values, key and value pairs, I cannot use either array list or hash set. Instead, I have to go with something called as hash map. Hash map supports storing the objects in the form of key value pairs. So let me delete this project. Uh, don't save. Clear. So let me create something here. New class. Hash map. Demo. Finish. Create the main method. Public static. Void main. String of ax. Save it. So how to create hash map? So here, actually, this is not the correct thing. We did this. Should be hash map. Okay, hash map. Hash map is a predefined class. Okay, hash map is a predefined class, and this is the interface case. This is the interface. Hash map is a class. So how to use hash map class? We just need to create an object for the hash map, right? Let's create an object. Hash map. Hash map is equal to new hash map. What next, guys? What next? What we have to do next? Anyone? Wrapper. We have to import import the hash map, right? From the Java dot util package. After that, we have to add less than greater than symbols. Same thing. So here I was saying that key value pairs will be there, okay? So two values only, not one value, guys. Objects will be in the form of two values. First value, which type of value? Integer value. I want to store. 
second value string like this integer comma string so earlier in array list or hash set right only one value used to be there here one wrapper class here two wrapper classes separated by comma is there here also same thing integer comma string like this you have to solve this is a difference in the syntax case okay when compared to array list or hash set hash map will have key and value wrapper classes now guys hash map hash map dot what is the method uh hash map dot uh, put i guess put i remember as put yeah put is a method okay now tell me here we have three things array list second one is hash set now we have hash map tell me the methods for adding in array list we have add method for retrieving get of index right get of index what about hash set hash next uh, sorry. sorry sorry add method add 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 for retrieving for each loop yeah for each loop there is nothing no method here right get method is not there here don't worry about that coming to hash map so i'll uh, instead of making it blank i will keep something else no no get method okay fine here hash map put put put, put is a method and uh, for retrieval get is there again okay so like this is you have to understand this array list has add and get hash set has only add hash map has put and get so i'm going to use put and get now hash map dot put it's directly saying two values you need to provide integer value and string value so same example i will take 101 some some 101 i took some id number let's say i am an employee working in some company and they have assigned me this employee id and uh, the person assigned to this employee id is around okay let's make dot put prashant okay then hmap dot put 103 kishore key value pairs here string means should be literal should be in double quotes right integers no double quotes normal normal numbers so hmap dot put 104 10 like this i need to store key value pairs in the memory using this hash map so far so good now how to how to retrieve them system dot out dot println hmap dot which method guys how to retrieve get get method in get method you have to provide key guys you have to provide the key what is the key here if you want to retrieve the kishore name you have to provide the key as 103 get of 103 means what will be printed be sure will be printed okay system dot out dot print ln hmap dot if i want to retrieve uh let's say him what should i provide get off 104 yes 104 it will retrieve him now system dot out dot print ln hmap dot get off uh, i want to retrieve arun so 101 arun will be retrieved here System dot out dot print ln hmap dot get of one zero two prashant will be retrieved here. Okay, guys, let's see whether we are getting the proper output or not. Right click run as Java application. This is the output we got. So first one is Kishore, second one is Haim, third one is Arun, and the fourth one is Prashant. Okay, this is how you have to use key value pairs. Okay, using the keys, you have to retrieve the values. Fine. Next one. So did I use the same program? Yes. We are done with that program. Next one. Now uh, demonstrate hash map which show different key value pairs and uses for each loop to print those values. Now I want to use for each loop, guys. Here I used uh, I want to optimize this program instead of this for all the statements, right? I want to use for each loop simply for 
how to use for each loop with hash map. What are the different type of values? Two are there, but for each loop will take only one, right? Guys, you are understanding my point here. So object. Uh, which one, which, one, which one should I take? Either I have to take integer or string. Integer. Yes. Why? Because we are retrieving with the help of keys, right? Yes. So we, we will iterate this for each loop with the help of keys only. That's why we have to take the integer here. Okay. Even though we have integer and string, we have to take integer. Some temp is equal to colon hash map. This will be fine. It's not correct, guys. Okay. Hash map means both integer and string are there, but you are you want to assign only integer. So hash, hash map will not work out here in this case. You have to say hash map dot go down somewhere. You will see something called key set. Okay. Select this method. So when you say hash map dot key set, it will assign the all the integer values to this temporary. Okay. This is how you have to segregate, guys. Key set. Key set means keys only keys will be assigned to this temporary variable of this integer wrapper class okay you cannot give simple hash map here because there are two values integer and string you have to assign only the key key keys only the keys you have to assign to this temporary variable so hash map dot key set you have to provide just remember this key set method key set method belongs to hash map guys predefined method of the hash map okay key set is the over this mouse you see it will tell you under java dot util package there is something called hash map and uh, there is nothing hash map class so key set is a predefined method in this hash map class. Okay. Fine. Now temp is the system dot out dot print ln. What will happen when I print temp? If I print this, what will be the output, guys? Can anyone Arun guess? Arun Prashant Kishore and him. No, not correct. Key values will be only key values will be printed because key set will assign the keys only keys to the temp when you print temp what will happen first in first iteration 101 one will be printed in the second iteration 102 will be printed because temp will have the 102 third 103 and fourth 104 will be printed see that in action rightly run as java application you see 101 102 then how to get these values guys anyone how to get the values When I say temp, I am only getting the keys, but how to get the values of that particular keys? So if you have to change the hmap dot uh, into key uh, uh, value set, something like that, maybe. Simple put oh, the temp inside the get method. Yeah. Got it? Yeah. What happened here? Sorry, hmap dot uh, get off temp. Okay. You understand my point here, guys? Get off 101 is Arun. Get off 102 is Prashant. Get off 103 is Kishore. Get off 104 is M. So I'm saying hmap dot get off temp. So whatever the key is there, appropriate value will be retrieved. Okay. Clear, guys. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Fine. So just practice it guys, uh, just uh, don't follow the sessions, okay? Uh, at least collections framework you need to practice, okay? So when you write on your own, you will get more lot of confidence rather than just hearing to the sessions. Fine, that's about the hash map also. We are done with the collections framework guys, okay? So far we are done. So whatever that is left, if any other things are required, right? I will explain during the Selenium sessions, maybe one or two topics of collections framework, okay? So for now, we are done with the collections framework. Uh, let's go to the next one. Let's complete this, guys. So we'll be done with the Java for today. And uh, from tomorrow, right, we can freshly start the Selenium concepts. OK? So with this, we'll be done with the Java for Selenium. So the last topic I'm going to take is Reflection API. This is not part of the collections framework. Reflection API is not part of collections framework. Okay, just remember that. It is a separate topic, guys. Okay, it's not collections framework. Reflection API is separate topic in Java. Reflection API. We are done with the collections framework. We move to the next topic that is reflection API. So, what is the purpose? Why we have to use reflection API in Java? What is the purpose? So, the purpose here is 
using the uh, using the string text i have to call the methods okay what i mean to say is for example there is a method let's say assume that there is a method like method a the method name having method a is there like this public void the method a is there like this what is the name of the method case in this method what is the name of the method method a right so so as part of this concept i will create a string string str is equal to the name name of the uh, the text that is stored in the particular string variable is nothing but same thing method a do you see anything matching here in these two things do you see anything matching method a method a yes. so the name of the method is stored in the particular variable right string variable so the purpose of this reflection api is with the help of this uh, value stored in the variable i want to call this method okay so using the the value stored in this particular string i want to call this method why I, why this is useful why i have to call why i have to store the name of the method in a string and then call this method which is having the same name where actually it is useful in selenium guys somewhere we have something like an excel file will be there okay excel file will be there this excel file will have some keywords some keywords will be there keywords will be like this for example okay some login keyword or logout uh, keyword register keyword what whatever it is okay for all this keywords stored in this excel file for all this keywords stored stored in this particular excel file in the framework or in the project we'll have some predefined methods like this public void login some login method will be there okay and uh, some other method public void logout method third one is public void register method like this so for all the keywords that are stored in this particular excel file there will be appropriate predefined uh, sorry uh, there will be appropriate uh, user defined methods in the project okay like this but how to i want to call i want to read this particular login keyword from this excel file and call this method how is it possible i want to call this logout and uh, read this logout uh, keyword from the excel file okay into the program and then call this logout method based on the keyword written here i want to call the appropriate method in the programs okay in the projects how is it possible so what i will do here is somehow using some java project i will read this uh, okay keyword from this excel file and store them into some variable like this string string str1 is equal to login like this okay i'll read this keyword from the excel file and store in the form of a variable in the, into the string variable here also for logout also str2 is equal to logout and now the third one sorry this one is this one right this one belongs to this part third one str str3 is equal to like this guys register i want to call like this so i want to read this and store into this string variables now using this reflection api with the help of reflection api with the with the value stored in this particular string i will call this method with the help of reflection api with the value stored in this string i will call this logout method with the help of reflection api with the value stored in the str3 i will call this register method got some clarity guys just understand at a high level guys uh, because how to read this in and uh, and put into the strings will be explained uh, afterwards okay this part is a separate thing this is not uh, in context for us but you just need to worry about this okay this part i am referring so you understood the purpose guys guys you understood the purpose yes sir okay for this purpose for uh, calling the methods with the help of the value stored in the string variables we need something concept known as reflection api 
Okay, reflection API is required. Fine. So two examples are there, guys. It won't take much time. Now you understood the concept, so it will not take much time. I will programmatically show you how to call that. Okay. So let's go to this Eclipse ID. Clear this stuff. Uh, call this. Right click new class reflection API. Uh, sorry, demo. Okay, some demo class. Write down public static. White main string of ax. Okay. Let's create a method public static void the method A. Okay. System dot order print and inside method A. This will be printed when this particular method is called. When method A is called, this particular statement will be printed. Fine, guys. Now, guys. I want to create a variable str is equal to what is the name which one I will store I will store this method name right method a name of the method I will store into the variable now how to call this uh, how to call this method with the help of the value stored in the string variable is a question so for that there is syntax guys uh, let me open this program so what is the class name here so I will, API yeah, yeah, I will I will make it very simple. Uh, I'll rename this class. How to rename the class? Right click here. So refer, uh, refactor, rename. I'll convert into lion kind of thing. Okay, I, I'm just uh, just for uh, understanding easily. I'm just changing name of the class. I'm changing the name of the class from reflection API demo to some lion. It's taking a lot of time. Okay, let it change guys finish so here also it changed okay so i just changed the line so now what is the class name lion right right lion what is this dot class you have to say lion dot class lion dot class this is one thing you have to write then dot again say dot get method dot get method here the name of the method that is str do we have any parameters here no right remove this part if you don't have parameters remove that simply put a semicolon okay lion dot class dot get method this is a class lion dot class this syntax case you have to remember this syntax the class name is lion it is dot class and you say dot get method that is str for the mouse so it's saying uh, some checked exception is coming guys checked exception so what I will do, I will ignore it for now. Okay. For the mouse on the get method now, what is the return type of this uh, get method? Can anyone say from looking at this uh, suggestion, what is the return type of this get method? This is a get method, guys. What is the return type of this get method? Anyone? Method. This one, right? Method. Method class is the method class is the return type of this get method. So I will say here method yum is equal to like this import this import this from reflection api this method class is a predefined class of the java dot language dot reflect okay fine reflect is again package okay java dot language dot reflect it's not java dot language package java dot language dot reflect okay fine now we got the method guys how to call the method how to call this method now i created a method so i will simply say yum dot yum dot oh, what was that uh, just don't remember that okay yum dot invoke is okay yum dot invoke i just forgot that method yum dot invoke invoke is the yum dot invoke so you don't have to pass any parameters so simply remove this okay yum dot invoke of yum this is a syntax case yum dot invoke of yum close done this is a syntax you need to understand yum dot 
invoke why you are calling invoke method because invoke is the predefined method of the method class in the java dot language dot reflect api okay package so let's find it out java dot uh, method method right method method is a predefined class in java it belongs to method belongs to which package java dot language dot reflect package so method has some predefined methods this predefined uh, this uh, predefined method class has some predefined methods go down method summary so in that methods we have something called as invoke yeah this one guys invoke here you have to, here you have to provide the object that object is nothing but this object guys methods object object reference of this method should be provided in this invoke method so uh, m dot invoke that is in uh, using this object reference you are calling this invoke method and in that again you need to provide the object reference of this method so m you have to provide m dot invoke m this is syntax guys you can't do anything okay so you don't have any other parameter so only object reference you need to pass and simply say right click run as the application so what happened guys when i called this one has called this method with the help of the value stored in the string so inside method i got called fine any doubts guys with this you need to understand the syntax okay this part this part you need to understand properly the syntax you should be in a position to write then only you will understand so i will i will explain one more uh, example so this time with parameters okay this non parameterized method i am going to take now non uh, parameterized method okay just uh, focus focus on another class okay uh, z uh, i will say tiger okay this time tiger another class called tiger in that again public static void main string of box you see guys one more thing you have to understand here don't get confused the static main method is a static method and method is also intentional i wrote static guys if i remove this you will not this particular program will not work okay should be static guys both should be static right click run as the application you are getting error right why what is the reason guys why we are getting error if i remove static from here why i am getting the error anyone anyone guys static method allow only static members yes static methods can only access the static stuff okay so that's the reason if any method you are calling you have to call okay so just remember this in while writing the program you may miss this one and you will get this kind of error so better keep static guys okay since i am calling from the static method you have to write like this static now fine let's move to the next one so parameterized method i am going to create fine here i am going to create public static void the method a same method a again but here integer x and uh, string y okay like two parameters are there so here you should not write uh, data primitive data types okay in the reflection api you should not write the primitive data types guys like int or something like that instead of that you have to write wrapper classes for them okay remember this when parameterized methods and if you want to use them in the reflection api this should be the wrapper classes rather than the primitive data types fine so system dot out dot println Here I'll keep in integer only two integers, two integers. Uh, I will say x plus y. Whenever this particular method will called, what will happen, guys? What will be printed? What will be printed? Sum of x and y. Yes, sum of x and y will be printed. Here string str is equal to what should I write in the string? Tell me, guys, what should I write in the other string? Third day. Yes, method A. You have to write here. Now, next, what guys? What I have to do now? Next line, syntax. You have to remember the yes. syntax. Tiger dot class. Yes, tiger dot class. Again. Get method of. Dot. Get, get method. Method of. You have to give the string ST. followed by the char parameters. Okay. So this str is the uh, name of the strings. Here we have to give the parameter types. Along with the parameters, we have to give the parameter types. Okay. So for that I need to say what are the parameter types here? You can see integer, right? Copy this integer dot class. You have to say okay. Again comma. Again integer is there. Again integer dot class. Like this you have to write the syntax. Guys. For parameterized methods you have to 
do like this now hover the mouse and add throws this is a kind of checked exception okay how to how to overcome that so what is the return type of this get method method class right so i have to write method m is equal to type next statement you have to give me guys okay i will import from the reflection package next thing what i have to do next m dot invoke m not method um, m dot invoke of m m dot invoke of object means m so i will give you m here i need to give the arguments guys whatever the values you want to pass to this you have to give here so i want to pass something like uh, 9 comma 6 okay like this values arguments these are the arguments this is the object and uh, these are the parameters for the mouse add throws done guys that's it okay now when you call right click i i have to call the lion tiger right right click run as job application you see the sum of 6 and 9 what is the sum of 6 and 9 15 right 15 got printed fine hopes that uh, helps this is a thing guys nothing more than that okay so in the purpose is in selenium we need to read this values from the excel file and convert them into strings and with the string values we need to call the appropriate methods in the project that is the reason we are using reflection api in selenium okay mostly in keyword driven frameworks and all we will be using the reflection api okay where we need to read the data from the excel files and based on the uh, values stored in the excel file we will call the appropriate methods in the project selenium project okay that's where we require this concept of reflection api of java to be implemented in selenium so guys is it clear so far any doubts any questions of any of these things no arun it's clear okay fine but practice guys uh, so to in tomorrow session we'll uh, start selenium okay so if you want to brush up anything as part of uh, java right just brush up okay so tomorrow freshly we'll start selenium and uh, whatever the sessions i explained so far as part of java should practice completely and should be ready for tomorrow session guys okay just uh, practice all the examples i have explained as part of the so far sessions in uh, java sessions so so far i just took 20 sessions in java so all the 20 sessions uh, if possible you can recap and then practice it and get ready for tomorrow guys okay so fine guys uh, see you tomorrow at the same time okay and we we'll, we are going to start selenium tomorrow okay bye guys okay sunath okay shruti bye bye see you